I've never been more scared of Terry Silver in, in my life than I am right now at this point. Because episode five, if this motherfucker could have red eyes, he would have red eyes. The way that motherfucker was moving and what they doing in the show, crazy, yo. Crazy. This, this will go down as one of the best TV, I mean, movie to, to, to TV show adaptations that has ever been released. Ever. Ever. Ain't nothing else doing it like this. Like, as far as what they deliver and the story that they tell and the character growth and all that. And when you, like, even going back to to, to, to season one and watching up until now and seeing how characters evolve and everything is going to be crazy. It's going to be wild. Either way, episode number six, see what the fuck is happening. Whole villain energy. He's looking like old school John Voight. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is this? Look at called the SEAL Team Six or some shit. Yep. Oh, gosh. And they got an eye patch. Oh, that's crazy. If you got an eye patch, you know you've been through some shit. Right here is when I sign up. I throw my morals out the window. What? You asked me to bring the best senses my Tojang had to offer. I have done so. This thing got an eye patch, yo. Your grandfather didn't teach American soldiers the way of the fist, just to use on the battlefield. Oh we shit! Have to share his style. Damn, he got it. He got dude's granddaughter. If you got a braid that long, you know you can whoop some ass at all times. The longer we wait, we must let Daniel San heal. But the chosen's right. I want to do something about it too, but we can't just go after Terry Silver without Dad. Johnny, what are you doing here? Yeah, figuring out how to make Silver pay for what he did to you. What's with the suit? I'm done with karate. What do you mean you're done with karate? Must not give up. I am giving up. Damn. Trying to go toe to toe with Terry Silver was a mistake. It almost cost me my family. I'm not making that mistake again. Daniel, we're with you. You don't have to stop fighting. Yes, I do. I became a sensei to help kids. Instead, I'm making everyone's life worse. Feels that guilt. I never understood why Mr. Miyagi walked away from a fight. But I understand it now. It's not our job to fight the monsters of the world. Jesus. Whoa. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Granddaughter. They still got that bond. When I get out of here, I'll take care of the other. You don't care about what happened to Mr. Russo? He was a means to an end. Jesus. I got a plan to get out of this place. You do? Yeah. I'm going to play the good soldier, which is what I need you to do. So do whatever Silva says. Keep your eyes and your ears open. Oh, yeah, they have different dojos now? Please, I didn't hit you that hard. <clears throat> Sensei Terry Silver has made me a very generous offer. And I'm proud to say Topanga Karate is now under new management. Oh, shh. Jesus. There will be some changes. All for the better. And I hope you don't mind your dues getting cheaper. You're replacing me, Terry? This wasn't the deal we made at Shimon Services. <clears throat> Damn. My new senseis will be molding you all into winners, just like our own All Valley Tournament champion Tori Nichols. Mm. Well, looks like your students made their decision. Shalom, sensei. Damn. Jesus. I need to see who the best fighters are in this dojo. You will help me test them. In the deep end now. Fuck. Valley only has so many kids. How many new dojos can he possibly open? He's not just opening new ones. He's taking over other dojos now, too. It's live. It's happening right now. Perfect. I'm going to go down there and beat his ponytail ass. <laughs> right now, we know exactly where he is, and he's not on his home turf. Open it, Jason. Please say something to him. Amanda son is right. One man army. Not good. Thank you. Two men. Come with you. Yeah. Height. <laughs> <laughs> I- Say yes. <laughs> Chosen and Johnny. Damn, that's that's dinner? Like turkey flakes. Yeah. I love the red ones. These are my jellos. I think that's a fine idea. <laughs> you about to knock your teeth out when nobody looking. Is that so? <laughs> I didn't realize you were making friends in here. Yeah, well, I make friends pretty easily. You could throw me right through a window and I wouldn't even get a scratch. You've been through a window. You're not just sweet-talking me to get you a good recommendation. 
Are you? Yes, he is. Oh, of course not. Playing a role. You gotta play the role. Fine. <clears throat> but you'll break your hand if you hit someone like that. You know what I'm doing. Better. This is a, that shit. It goes right down. I guess you forgot who kicked your ass at the tournament. Please, that ref was blind. He gave you a point when I was out of bounds. Then why are you still here? My mom always said, the only way you really lose is by giving up. Sounds like a smart woman. She was. Sorry. For what? You didn't do anything. But you have to take all that anger and you have to put it in your fist. Actually helping her out. You will use your strength against each other. Ooh. She got death in her ooh, eyes, yo. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, sex, yes. Yeah, yeah, yep. Danielson told me how dangerous you can be. Did he mention how I kicked his ass back in high school? I robbed him while he was on date. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yep. I pushed him down a cliff. I fight him to death. Oh, yeah? What are you, a ghost or something? <laughs> Danielson showed me mercy. Yeah, sounds like LaRusso. Man, he was such a twerp back then. They, they were, were both his bullies. Ass. And he always fight for what he believes. Never back down from a fight, even when he should have. You know, a few months ago, I saw him take on an entire hockey team, five on one, and beat him off. I saw him save young girl from Typhoon. Mm hmm He took a man down with a single strike to his pressure point. Who do you think would teach him that? <laughs> this shit was dope. I think this is my first day. I know the difference between a breakthrough and saying what I want to hear. The court is signing some bullshit attorney who is in way over his head. If you want to get out early, you really need to think about why you're here in the first place. He was set the fuck up. Can't dig deep on that. We would train at the peak long after the sun oh. has set and the night. Shame we're dating. I can't. I ain't dying for you. My students are determined. I will see how determined you are. She type to call you a bitch. I'm like, well, yeah, hey. Stop her. Use any means necessary. You have one minute. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. The way the fist means you do not hold back. You do not go easy. Damn. Or is this what it means in America to be a champion? Jesus. Again. Fuck. What's wrong with your shorty? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Gotta play the role. Get your, get your check. Damn! Strength. Determination. You crazy. This shit crazy. Man. Fucking demons. I still date her though. Oh, come on. What? I'm here to help. I believe that deep down, you're a good man. I think something happened in your past. Oh, shit. The love of my life. Where were you when it happened? Overseas. But her death allowed me to do what I had to do. It was war. Oh, but that violence followed you home. Mm. What an interesting choice of words. Oh, shit. But you did this to yourself. Don't be oh, God, he's going to end up attacking her. None of it is my fault. I did nothing wrong. So you don't feel any regret? What exactly am I supposed to feel regret for? The people you've hurt. Holy fuck. How the fuck did they do this? You wanted them all to be like you. No, I wanted them all to be better than me. This is some real shit. He actually dug deep. This, that was all real. You just have to find them. Wow. Wow. God damn, that shit was... Not here to take a lesson. I'm here to teach you one. Oh, <laughs> some gangster shit. Go ahead, Johnny. Go ahead, Johnny. Ooh. Ooh. Chosen is yeah. not in a move ever. He got a different style. Ooh. He ain't even move. Dude holding his own though. Double dragon shit. <laughs> Far from your pathetic little island, aren't you? And I'm surprised to see Daniel LaRusso has healed from his injuries so quickly. What the hell? I'm not Daniel LaRusso. I look nothing like him. You wish to fight? 
Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. We fight one time, that's right. But she want the smoke. Jesus. She didn't give a fuck. She didn't give a fuck. You can't stop eating them. Like, right. <laughs> that dude's funny. <laughs> that motherfucker funny. It took two of us to stand against just one. I still think we could have taken him. <laughs> Maybe a pair of nunchucks and it's lights out, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I felt the same as dad. Felt like karate just made everything worse for everyone. The lessons that I learned, Mr. Miyagi's lessons, they'll be even more powerful than the first time I put on that key. Mm -hmm. Talk your shit. Dad was right. Mr. Miyagi avoided a fight whenever possible. But he also fought when he had to. Yep. And if he were here right now, I think he would tell Dad that this is a fight we can't walk away from. He's got us. Damn right. Oh shit, come hey, on now. I'm here for my jungle cup today. Time to beat the brakes off this bitch. <laughs> How the hell is this bag of bones in here for assault? <laughs> Ooh, that was sick. That was sick. <laughs> it's a good way to do this fight, too. We'll turn the Frank Castle up in this bitch. <laughs> this is a great way to do this fight. Yeah, that's smart. Get Ray Ray out of here. That was sick. The Homelander smile. From now on, you're gonna give me your job. <laughs> I never thought I'd be rooting for Crease again. He did some shit. That's crazy, man. Crease, you a bad motherfucker. You got some shit to work with, through, though, but you a bad motherfucker. Yep. <laughs> Will he go back to that meet with that psychologist lady? <laughs> so you don't, um. Damn, Dan, he really beat your ass. Yeah. Beat the fight out that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I want peace. <laughs> Terry put his hands on you. That's, listen, it's peace. Yeah, I want peace. Terry said, I want problems. <laughs> At least she's supportive, man. Been supportive the whole time. It's a good wife, a good woman. God, that was his room. <laughs> his wife. The note that he left him. Damn, that's just from part one. It's like a time capsule in here. The night before we got married, I was so nervous. I came here to see Mr. Miyagi. He sat me down, poured me a cup of tea, and some sake. <laughs> and we talked about you. In life, always easier to hide head in sand. He told me you could be a bit of a handful sometimes. That you would always fight for what you believed in. And there was nothing you believed in more than your family and friends. <clears throat> and what I believe in now is standing up to Terry Silver. It's the right thing to do. But what if standing up to Silver just makes things worse again? Every time I try to fight for what's right, somebody gets hurt. Yeah, so he's apprehensive. I can't fail these kids again. He didn't fail me. Hey. I mean, I should have listened to you about Cobra Kai. But I didn't understand until I started mentoring someone myself. We need to stop Cobra Kai. But we can't do it without you. Sensei. It's time that all of us join this fight. Yeah. All of us. Let's unite, motherfucker. So what do you say, Dad? Will you fight? I'm surprised I ain't out there. Doing what? Stand, stand up with them. They know how to build up a fucking moment in this fucking show. God damn, your motherfucker's killing it. Oh man, they know how to build up a fucking moment. What a... What a motherfucking show. I swear to goodness. What a what a motherfucking show. They they these yo, y'all, y'all listen, stop. Yo, man. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. That's how you now this is how 
TV is supposed to be. This is oh, how you write. This yeah. is how you write. This is how yeah. you write. This 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 is how you do it right here, man. This is how you do it right here. This is exactly how it's done. Proud you, moment you, for me, brother. You, you, you do it like that. Everything feels earned. They they always know how to organically build up to an emotional moment. They always know how to do that. And when they, when it hits that moment, I always feel it in my chest. And my eyes, my eyes start getting getting yeah. getting moist. And I'm like, you feel proud. You feel so. That, it, it's just and it's not it's not sadness. I'm just so like overwhelmed and, and happy that it's like this is fucking beautiful what I'm seeing. Like they 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 know how to fucking do that shit time and time again, man. <laughs> Like they 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 just know how to do things right in this fucking show, and it it always feels so so much of a joy to see. Like even like Crease going through his 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 you know his whole entire life and his trauma and all that, and, and and seeing the person actually there and whatever like that, and that building up to to you know him actually fighting, which is which it was the was the perfect way to do that because you know. The actor that plays Creed, he's kind of up there in age, so he ain't gonna be sitting there, just, you know, doing all that shit. So that you you revert back to the younger version of him because yeah. that's how he so feels at that moment. Yep. So it, it's 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 a multi pronged moment. It's like this is how he feels right now. So visually, this is what it's gonna look like, and it allows the actor to actually you know do the fight scene. So it's like it's a genius way to fucking do that shit. Like that. That's yo teenage Johnny. Yeah, oh, to show that. God, yo, yeah. I, I saw that. I'm Man. like, yo, y'all, y'all tripping me the fuck out because you know we can do that shit now. So it's like seeing that, and it didn't, it didn't, it didn't look weird or anything. Like it, it threw me off because I'm like, holy fuck, like really Johnny, yo, yo, you, 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 you got, you got. <laughs> that shit was crazy, man, and <laughs> and that shit, that 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 moment right there shows that he he actually cared about Johnny, like. On, on, on some son type shit. It's like I, I wanted y'all to be better than me. Like, you know what I mean? He was actually trying to. Like his methods were a little, a little, a little wild and kind of like over certain things. So you know what I mean? It didn't always translate, but that's deep inside that. That's 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 what he what he that wanted. Man. That was beautiful. They they killing these episodes, man. Y'all y'all are actually killing it. Like Jesus Christ, I don't know how y'all doing this shit. That was. That was beautiful to the point where I felt like I felt like what you just described. My eyes started to water, my heart started to pump really fast. Um, I, I get this, I get this fire going through my body yeah. because I see one of the best moments on television when I see things like that, like everybody's standing together and uniting. It was the feeling that I got when um Chris Evans said Avengers Assemble. Yeah, they were yeah, all behind yeah, him. Yeah. Like, I, yeah, you know me. <laughs> yeah, the the other time I felt like that was at the end of I think it was season three. When 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 Johnny walked out to to uh, <laughs> Phil, <laughs> Phil Collins, I and, can feel it. And they both stood there and they 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 bowed to each other and they bowed to to the students and they said, "Let's begin." And seeing them there like that 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 brought the emotions so, out of me. So when you heard the music and you saw him walk out in season three, you said you felt yeah. So why is it when I played Phil Collins when I went to go light the grill? You weren't sold. Like you, you couldn't get emotional for me and shit. I'm going to light the grill. That's a hard task, nigga. I'm, I'm the scared la- of fire. I play Phil Collins in the background. The last time you did that shit with music going and you went to go light the grill, I saw a fucking spot of flame shoot up to the fucking ceiling and it burnt the fucking hole in the ceiling. So at any time you're walking out with music going to the grill, I know it's about to be a fucking disaster. So it's not time to be hype. It's time to be worried. And I left to get the fire extinguisher because I knew your dumb ass was going to do something to fuck shit up. I was eating charcoal briquettes that were supposed to be burgers. I don't know where you got that lighter fluid from. You you got some. That, that There was something. Maybe the lighter fluid was expired or some shit. Those flames were not supposed to go the way that they went. I get where you're coming from, but that shit was not my fault. But you should have appreciated the fact that I had Phil Collins playing as I walked towards the grill. No, because you want to fuck up a good song and then set the house on fire. And then the next time I hear that song, I'm gonna be thinking about running out the fucking house, looking like Ghost Rider. <laughs> so it's not a happy time for me. <laughs> Either way, dope fucking show. Y'all motherfuckers is killing it. Episode six was fucking flames. This whole entire show has been amazing up until now. Like I- I've loved every single episode, and y'all just keep fucking killing it consistently. Just keep doing what y'all doing, man. This is this is one of the greatest shows on television right now. The Terry's greatest. T- I'm just mad that Terry's bitch ass really went and recruited some of the world's best 
That, yeah. That's that's what you do. That's how you succeed. And when you got the money to throw around, you can do it. And he didn't. He didn't just recruit random people. He he got he got the the guy that he studied under his granddaughter. Mm. So it's like you you know you know what you're spending money on, and they gonna take shit over, yo. It's gonna be it's gonna be a fucking nightmare to, to fight them. Come they on. like a disease now. Come on, Mike Barnes. He needs to come back because we need we need to unite everybody. Him and the strong. I need mean, him sitting there like this. Like, come on, you piece of shit. Like, yeah. like you yelled at it at, at at Terry Silver. He's Terry now. Hey Terry, come here, piece of shit. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, you ain't whooping my ass no more. Like that that shit you did in part three ain't happening now. I'm doing that to you. Give me, just give me one, give me one dramatic musical scene where Mike Barnes is like, hey, you burnt my shit down. I'm with Larusso. I think he's gonna come do, back. Do, 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 I do, I can see him come back. Cause, cause we need all hands on deck for the fight. Yeah, man. We need all hands on deck, and I think we building up to be to to towards one of the one of the greatest season finales I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. So if, if, if what's happening now, like if, if what's happening now is any indication of the future, this is going to be one of the greatest season finales of all time, and I can't wait for it. I, I can't fucking wait. No, cause you won't burn something else down. Man, cut. <laughs> about the outlook of the world. <laughs> 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 you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine being in. Just imagine. <laughs> 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 Just imagine being <laughs> Outside, you see a nigga run out the house. So he ain't on fire. <laughs> Just his head, though. <laughs> help, help! <laughs> Just the head on fire. Not the shirt, not the shoulder. Just the fucking head. Come on, look like Goku. <laughs> oh my gosh.